Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create a container in storage account of Azure. So first thing you need to do is log into Azure portal. And the second thing you can do is click on so all services. Alternatively, there is also create a resource option. Now here we will be finding storage, right? And in storage, we'll be creating a storage account. So what we will do is much better option is to navigate from storage account option. Now here I already have one storage. So I'll be showing you how to create a container in that. So if you have no idea on how to create the storage account first, can simply click on create. Now here you can see your storage account needs a subscription, then resource group, pick a resource group, then you can pick a storage account name, region, and then performance for option where you have standard and premium option and local redundant storage or geo redundant storage as an option. Right? Once you go through that, next option is to choose the security where you can choose REST API options, then public access containers, right? Then you have key access, choose the TLS version along with your copy operation from any storage account option. Now, in case of data lake options, you can enable this namespace. Also, you can enable variety of files, right? Then click networking and enable public access. Also set the routing to Microsoft network routing. Next comes is your option to recover these type of blobs, containers, files and queues. There is also option to track the versioning of those files and also enable version level immutability support. Then comes encryption where you have encryption type, Microsoft manage keys and customer manage. Choose the Microsoft manage one and also come to enable the support for all service types. Next comes tags. Here you can organize your storage account using tags. Finally, you review everything. And here, once review, you can click on create. Now that I have already created one account, I will be going straight to that storage account. Right now here you see I have done all those steps that I have mentioned before and you can notice blob file queue and table service. Now the thing is we are here to basically create a container. Now in this case we will be clicking on data storage and then container option. Now the thing is, if we click on the sign container here, it will open drawer. And you can see the name is empty. So you will add my container. Then comes the public access level. I will choose anonymous read access for blobs. Container, anonymous read access for containers and blobs. So choose container. Now comes advanced option where you can choose the encryption, right? So if you leave this empty, it will go that way. Now click on create so that it will create a container. And that container will be listed here. Clicking on that should take you to this page where you see you will have to upload those blobs individually. So blobs are like your files, right? And you can set their access level. You can choose 
what to do with the same and so on so let's see I want to upload a blob so I'll pick a file of my logo so I'll browse pick the logo right now in advance we can take a look at options where you can see this is block pop page a paint blob right so we'll pick the block blob upload .vhd file as a page blob okay so we'll keep the default block size 4 mb is good enough now access here you can choose between hot cool cold on archive so go with the default for now this is based on the amount of access you are going to do for that particular content then upload to folder let's see virtual folder let's name this then index tag you can use key value to give it that tag use existing default container scope in this case now just click upload now notice that we have one folder created here click on that it will have one file right and clicking on that file will point you to the file info right and you can also download the file right now we can also take a look at options within the tab like generate SS which is shared access signature you can choose to start and stop the expiry for those files allow the IP address to access them so basically you generate a token and those files can be accessed then you can track the versions if it is some sort of a file and you regularly upgrade update that something like let's say word file or excel file you upload it here and regularly change them and upload them back you will have version update as well there is snapshot option to take a snapshot then there is url to access this so i will copy this and try and see if it lets me access this so if i copy and paste it as you can see it is accessible right so we are practically hosting our static assets like this right within our storage account so our blog is stored right we can also download this delete this if we make any change we can refresh as well so we'll close this for now right and here other option to delete as well right you can also change the tier by clicking on change tier option you can make it cool cold is blocked cool and co archive are the only two option you can change to that right and we can go to the top of folder right like this you can even host video files or any other files within your container as well so this particular image file was an example to show you that you can store the blobs within this particular container right so what we have done so far is we created a storage account then we created container then we uploaded one block file created virtual folder and we also accessed that file in another tab right now the thing is we can also destroy all of this so we will go to that file select the file click delete or you can also use this option and click delete it will ask you if, if you are sure of this action you can select delete prompts snapshot as well click ok now let's go to the top of folder and our blob and its respective folder is also 
deleted right now let's go back to our storage account and here you see container I can select the container and I can delete it as, as well okay here you can see container is selected I can soft delete this now notice that container is immediately deleted from storage account